Hi everybody. In this video, I'm just going to kind of be talking with you about ways that you're able to get pictures or possibly videos that you're able to use in projects that you're creating. Maybe you have a paper that a teacher has asked you to write and you want to be able to put images in there. Well, you know, you just can't go out and choose any image that you would like because if an image is copyrighted, First of all, you need to make sure that you're recognizing that source that you have um, or you try to find items that are copyright free, nothing that you have to worry about being able to use. So I'm going to kind of walk you through those stages just a little bit so you know that what you're doing is correct and you're not going to get in trouble for violating copyrights. So it's a great thing and I'm very happy that I was asked to do this by your teachers. First of all, let's say that you open up Microsoft Word. So you have Word opened up on your screen right here and you're putting the text in for your paper. So I'm just putting in a bunch of garbage text there. And you would like to insert an image. You'd like to put a photo in or an illustration, something like that. Well, you just can't go out to the internet you just can't go out here to the internet and you can't go in and do a Google search and grab any image that you see from Google. First of all, Google itself is not a resource. Google is a search engine. So you can't grab images from there and expect that that's going to work because it doesn't. Those images belong to somebody. So let's just say that we do go to Google and we put an image in for say a dog and you come up here and you click on images and you go oh I really like the same image right here you can't just copy it from here and say that you're getting it from Google that is not going to work that's incorrect citing of your resources so let's say that we do click on the dog and we see that it's going to be taking us over to good housekeeping so if we click again on the dog and we come in well maybe we can use one of these dogs that happen to be in here but we would also have to go through the whole citation process of who this person is where the date that it was posted on what the title of the page is what the URL for it is we have to go through all of those steps so see getting something from Google can end up being quite a bit of work for you to do now there are some other ideas that you could use however that are totally okay to use in your classroom and one of those would be if you come in here and you want to insert an image you just can go into your word document go up to insert and you'll notice under your illustrations you have pictures if you click on that pictures look right down here it says online pictures so when I click on that and it loads I have a choice of items that I can use here now here's the cool thing about this you'll notice up here it says powered by Bing Microsoft and Bing have an agreement worked out between them that the images that they put on here are free for you to use in your papers in your PowerPoints any type of presentation that you're going to be giving you can totally use that no problem at all so we're going to come down here and let's say we choose baseball and we have these images that are for baseball right in here so let's just click on this image and insert it alright so the image comes up on the page now one of the things that we have with this image is that nothing else is on here we just have the image that's great let's insert another image in here so let's uh, what should we choose in here well we'll go back to our dogs again we had dog down here so if we choose another dog and you'll see down here you're responsible for respecting others rights including copyright yeah you don't want to violate that you wouldn't want to take one of these images and have it printed on a t-shirt for instance you'd be violating copyright doing it in your projects though is totally acceptable here we go now take a look down here right down at the bottom 
you'll see under the picture, it says this photo by unknown author is licensed under CCBY. Now this is Creative Commons. It has different levels of licensing that you can do. But as long as you're keeping that included with your image, you're going to be totally fine. You're going to be perfectly okay to be able to use that. So you can just resize this. You can put it wherever you want on the page. Make sure you don't remove this from the picture. Now you can grab a hold of it and you can drag it around like this if you would like to, but you have to keep it associated with the photo. You're not breaking any copyrights when you do this. You're using it for educational purposes in your paper, in your PowerPoint, for your presentations. You're great with all of that, so no problem. So you've got that option. Now there are a couple of other options that you could use, however. And that would be, we come back over to the Western Dubuque website. So let me bring that back up here. If you go to the Hub, and you click on the Hub, there are some resources further down on the page. So if you scroll down, you'll see an area called Sites for Legal Use of Images or Audio. Now, Really seriously, you have to read when you get to these sites to make sure that something hasn't changed. But at the time when I put those on here, these were sites that you were able to use images from. So let's say we want to use some free nature stock right here. We're looking for some nature backgrounds. We can come in here and you'll see up here royalty free, Creative Commons Zero, which means you can use them however you want. How much better do you get than that? You can use them however you want. So if you want, say, to put this picture of this bird right up here, click on it. You'll see how big it is. You can do the free photo download. It'll download into your downloads folder. So I just show it in the folder. I can grab it from here. I'm just going to copy it. I come into Word, I can paste it. I have no copyright concerns with this at all because the site told me I can use it. I don't have to recognize anybody and I can feel better because I know I'm doing everything correctly with it. So that is a way that you're able to put in images into any of the projects, presentations, whatever it is that you're doing without you having to worry about breaking copyright law. Not bad. It's a great idea for you to use. Now, as your teachers have probably told you, it's really important that you learn to do this now because there are colleges that if you violate copyrights, you don't recognize where you get information from, the college can actually kick you out of college. It can terminate you being part of that college because you're plagiarizing or you're breaking copyright laws. So you want to be really, really cautious about that. And as you can see, there are all kinds of resources out there. There's all kinds that you can use. And some of us have done a lot of work to help you be able to get to those sites. So there you go. Let's see how you can do with your papers, your projects, your presentations. Let's see how you do and create those wonderful things correctly without violating anybody's rights. So thank you so much for listening to me and for watching what we can do. You take care. Bye.